zombie apocalypse. Good day, Tinkercad friends. I need you to get to Tinkercad, and I need you to choose Create New Design. Today, we're going to use our Tinkercad skills to make a nifty little fun house. Let's start by naming our file so we can figure it out later. I'm going to put Fun House, and I'm going to put my initials. You should do the same. And then we're going to start our house with a rectangle, and I'm going to tell you to make it 60 wide. And I'm going to tell you to make it 40 in this direction. Remember, you can click the little white handles, and then you can click the box and type the 40 to even get it there quicker. I'm going to take the height, and I'm going to use that same trick to make it 30 high. So with our magical size 60 by 40, I'd like you to do Control D as in dog to duplicate it. And I'd like you to make the second one green, and then I'd like you to use the arrow keys to move it so that you can tell that there really, really are two of them. Click on the corner of the green one, or whatever color you made it, and I want to use this to make walls. And I want my walls to be two millimeters thick. So I need us to subtract two plus two, or four, from each side. So that would make that side 56, and that would make this side 36. And then since we're going to cut it out, I want to make it a hole. And so that it's easier to grab, I want you to make it 32 high. So that way it pokes out above the original shape. At that point, grab both by doing a large rectangle. Select them and find the Align tool. And then on the Align, there are three options. Left, Center, and Right. We want Center. And then if you switch to your side view, so I'm going to move this across so I can see the left side, we can click the center on that as well. So now our cutting cube is exactly in the middle and to the bottom of our large cube. Shut off the align tool, grab the whole bunch, and then do group to cut out the lovely little walls on our sweet new house. At that point, it's kind of cool to add a door. Let's bring another rectangle in because doors are rectangles. Let's make it 10 wide. And let's make it 15 high. I'm going to cheat and put that 15 in this way, which really isn't cheating. It's just smart. I don't care about how deep this is because I'm just going to cut out that 2 millimeter wall. But just for giggles, I'm going to shrink it to 7, and I'm going to turn it into a hole. And now one of my favorite things is to move it with the arrow keys. You can also grab your item and move it. But I want to put it somewhere on my house that would be nifty to have a door. When I've got it placed, I group it just like this. Now I have got a house that I can scroll in at, look at. It has a cool door. If I hold shift, I can slide it left and right as I'm looking at it. Remember, the wheel rolls it in, and right-click, drag lets you look at the sides. I'm going to use a technique to add a cool round window that is the work plane technique. Notice it says work plane on the big blue thing. I'm going to change from this work plane to I want the side of my house to be the work plane. And I'm doing this because I want to put a cylinder, or better yet, a cylinder hole, on my house. So I'm going to have a round window. I'm also going to hold down Shift and change the size, because then both the numbers stay the same as they shrink. I want a size 10 window. And then because I put my work plane here, I can use the left or right arrows to drag that window where I want it. I want my window right there. I'm going to right click orbit and then I'm going to use the push in tool to push it in so that it's cutting into my house. Grab both those parts and group and check it out. Nifty window. So now I want you to use these skills to add rectangular windows all the way around on your own. And then also I'm going to show you how to quickly add a roof to your house with that same work plane. This time I'm going to press W and I want the top edge. You can pick which roof you want. I'm going to drop the green one that says roof. 
it's kind of cool too because notice it's rotated the wrong way. When I set it down, I can click on those rotate arrows. I'll do that again. And I know that I want to turn it 90 degrees. So I can just type it. And now I can stretch it to the exact size of my nifty little rectangular house. If I wanted to get really fancy, I could put another roof inside the roof and cut it out so that it was hollow. But I'm kind of flexible and I'm just having fun. Uh, I can use the arrow keys to nudge it along. I'm going to zoom in and actually stretch it so that it's perfect. Or I could be smart enough to type 40. Click the little other box. Ha! That one was supposed to be 40. Enter. And I want to type the 60 here. And before I was doing it by hand, I'm going to press W to shut off my work plane. Now I'm going to just be smart. And I'm going to use our align tool. So I guess the moral of the story is as you're building, make sure you think about all the cool techniques you've been given to help make your house a little more incredible.